hi guys this is a quick video of single pin picking a couple of 40 millimeter padlocks one of them's the baton 787d that has not got a key so I actually showed it open there the other one is the master number three padlock with a key so let's lock that back up for you uh, the reason for this video is probably just to try and give a few newbies a bit of help regarding sort of keyways and things like that and these little warded type bits that are on the outside so I mean what they do sometimes if you've got the wrong tension wrench in you can be you can have your wrench in uh, for instance uh, one of your longer type ones you know that go sort of from one actually fits it and goes in and you can see that that's catching on there so you could not realize that guys and you can be picking and picking away and not have any joy it could be because of that so if you do use one of these types bob it in draw it out a tad just so it clears the little wards there uh, but on this particular lock or these two should I say I'm going to use one of these and again the reason for the video is if I bob that in there you'll see that there's not much movement there it's literally minute as you get in difference with the baton is that you've got quite a lot of springy movement in there if I can get that in trying to edge it towards the camera got all that play so you've also got to take that into consideration guys what I tend to do is I put the tension wrench in move it till it stops and just give it a tad more not too much so while we've got this one let's have a go at that one first so again your tension wrench in I mean any newbies may be sort of way past this but um, there could be somebody that's literally just gone out and bought the first ever pick set so just hope some little tips may help like I say with the tension on it goes just a tad more into the back work back to front bouncing now and again helps put in a little bit too much on the first go with that let's do that one more time you can be lucky you can get it perfect first time other times locks can take longer you can have good days you can have bad days we've all had bad days so if you do think you not getting anywhere don't keep going and going at the lock because you'll just get yourself frustrated um, when I first started that's exactly what I was doing so the best thing I found is release reset the pins and just start again if you don't have any joy with it um, try another lock or if you're trying out a new lock and it's not opening for you you know and you think oh you've lost the edge or the touch just pick one of the ones up that you've picked quite easy before and it soon puts a bit of a smile back on your face because each lock is different so again slight tension on there and in we go and there you go that's the last of number three we'll do that one more time again it's locked up like I say you've got lots of different tools in a kit and lots of different wrenches so if you have no joy with one of your picks or one of your tension tools have a go with another one you'll find that they would you know sort of more or less work on the particular lock you're having a go at I mean once you've had a little go with lock picking and you've you've got the gist of it uh, these 
two looks are actually quite easy to do you know if you're on your own and you just have another little play um, they are quite easy and like I say with the different sort of amounts of tension on your keyway um, adjust accordingly to that there you go so 20 newbies on the DBC locksmith forum and anyone out there on YouTube I do hope you enjoyed that and give you a couple of little hints and tips um, so any lock picking equipment you require uh, please visit um, dbclocksmiths.co.uk so that's www.dbclocksmith.co.uk and like I said a moment ago great forum on there so get online if you get stuck get typing thanks for watching guys happy picking and again please keep it legal <laughs>